Let A, B, C, D be numbers such that the absolute value of C is not equal to the absolute value of D. And we have to prove this inequality here. Uh, it looks a little bit intimidating. So this condition here is mainly so that the denominator in this fraction here makes sense, right? We want to make sure that we're not dividing by zero. So proof. So over here, I'm going to do a little bit of scratch work uh, in case we need to. So first of all, notice the numerator looks pretty clear. It looks like it's just the triangle inequality. It's the absolute value of a plus b less than or equal to the absolute value of a plus the absolute value of b. So um, I think we can just focus on the denominators and then at the end of the proof multiply by this and then use the triangle inequality. So the first denominator looks like this. If you ignore the a plus b, it's really just this. 1 over c plus d less than or equal to 1 over the absolute value of the absolute value of c minus the absolute value of d. So if you, multi if you cross multiply, and you can without switching the signs because everything is positive, you get the following. You would get um, the absolute value, absolute value of c minus the absolute value of d. So it would look something like this. And if, if I read it backwards, if I write it backwards, um, it might make sense. So this, reading it backwards, is the reverse triangle inequality. So it's almost as if this problem is just like a synthesis of like the triangle inequality and the reverse triangle inequality, and they've created like this monstrous <laughs> inequality. Um, let's go ahead and prove it. Let's prove it. So we'll start by writing this down. This is the reverse triangle inequality, and we'll just work backwards and go from there and make it very, very uh, beautiful and elegant. So by the reverse triangle inequality, so reverse triangle inequality, we have the absolute value of C plus D that's greater than or equal to the absolute value of the absolute value of C minus the absolute value of D. And then dividing both sides by, so you divide both sides by this and divide both sides by this. So we end up with the following. It est, we have 1 over, okay, 1 over, um, the absolute value of the absolute value of C minus the absolute value of D greater than or equal to 1 over the absolute value of C plus D. Okay, so all we did there was divide uh, both sides by both, by, both, by both sides. So we divide it by this piece and we divide it by this piece. I'm going to write this backwards. So thus, we have 1 over the absolute value of C plus D that's less than or equal to 1 over the absolute value, absolute value of C minus D. Now we just need to get the A plus B up there. So what we'll do is we'll multiply by A plus B. So note, or even better, let's do it even better. I'm just going to start by writing this. Okay, so A plus B over C plus D. Watch this. A plus B over C plus D. And then we can do this. We can write this as the absolute value of A plus B over the absolute value of C plus D. Okay? And then what you can do um, is you can use both inequalities at once. You can use this one. And then we can also use the fact that the absolute value of A plus B is less than or equal to the absolute value of A plus the absolute value of B. So you can use them both at the same time or individually. You, you can do a little bit of algebra to make it more clear. Um, I'll do a little bit of algebra to make it more clear. I don't, I don't think it's necessary, but, but I'll show it. I'm going to write this as 1 over C plus D times the absolute value of A plus B. Maybe this will add some clarity to it, right? And so this is less than or equal to. So I'll just go ahead and replace this piece first. So it's 1 over the absolute value, absolute value is C minus D. Then we still have the A plus B. And then it's less than or equal to 1 over 1 over. And let me go back up just to make sure that we're on the right. Yeah, well, so we're trying to get 
We're trying to get a plus b. Okay. So now uh, I'll keep the denominator the same, and you just you just replace the top with uh, a plus b, and then just rewrite it. This is equal to the absolute value of a plus b over the absolute value of the absolute value of c minus the absolute value of d. So really frightening, and that's it. We proved it, right? We started with this. We showed it's less than or equal to this, and that's the proof. So frightening problem Look, looks really scary. It's like this this like mutant synthesis of like the reverse triangle inequality and the triangle inequality. Like they they they've teamed up uh, to create uh, this frightening looking inequality, but it's really not that bad. Um, you just have to kind of do a little bit of scratch work and clarify your thoughts. So I hope the video uh, this video has been helpful. That's it.